It's gone. The heart with our names in it, mine and Ray's, it's gone. Livy. God, Livy must have worn it away. She can't. She can't erase our love. Not ever. That feels so good. How good? So good. Mm. You, know, you always used to love it when I touched you like this. So close your eyes. Close your eyes. And just let yourself feel. Feel how much I love you. Feel it in my fingers. touched his face and he smiled and, and then I just touched his arm and he would like shiver, you know, and he would make me shiver and then we would shiver together and shiver. There. You see, now that's the sign. That's how I know. Know what? That you really are happy. It's that little shiver that goes up your spine that tells me you are all mine. Thank you for, for helping me learn how to love again. Well, thank you for teaching me how to make love. You know, it was always so incredible. Well, no, 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 not yet. Why? But I promise it'll be worth it. I promise. I gotta go through with it. For Lucy, you gotta see it through to the end. Whatever the end may be. I just got a migraine. No, this isn't just a migraine. It's been some sort of shock to your system. Hi. I found the aspirin for you. Here you go. Oh, thanks. Thank you. Um, thank you. Really, thank you for doing this. Anything, you know that. I know, but I hope you know if there was any other way that I could think of to, to try to do this, I, I would. I know how much this is taken out of you. Uh, you, you probably would like some water with those aspirin. I, I'll get you some. Listen, I am very glad that it's you Kevin decided to communicate through after everything we've been through. Don't leave me like this. I'm, I'm just going to run and get you some water. I'll be right back. I need you. What? You're all I've been thinking about. I need to be with you. I thought you wanted this. I do. I really, really do. I've been waiting so long for this moment, right? So long to make love mm, to you again. But I, I really want to look beautiful for you. You already do. Just give me a couple minutes, OK? I want this to be really special, something you remember always. That's what I want, too. I want to remember everything. My God, you've, you've been so patient, so incredibly patient and caring. And I, I just want to be able to give you everything, everything you want, everything you need. You will, Ryan. I promise you will. I'll always try. It won't be long. Rave? 
Yeah, yeah. What, what is it? How about lighting a fire and turning on some music? Sure, I... Okay. I can do that. I don't mind. Not at all. Ian, what are, you, what are you saying? I don't understand. Lucy, I need you so much. Nothing else matters. I just want to hold you in my arms and never let go. I miss you so much. Doc, <clears throat> it's you. Doc. It feels like part of me is missing. I miss you too so much. You were always there, and now you're gone. No, I'm not, I'm not gone. I'm right here. Can't you feel me? I'm right here. I want to touch you. Reach out and take your hand. I know. <clears throat> I want to find you. I know you have reached out to me. I know you're alive. I know you're as desperate as I am. Wondering what happened. Concentrate, Lucy. On the connection you believe we've always had. I'm trying to get it back to you. I know. I know, and I'm trying to find you. I'm, I'm trying. You keep trying. Would you try? Come on, Doc, try. I'm trying, Lucy. I'm trying with everything I have, with all my love. I'm thinking of you. I thought you might be in need of refreshment. What? Will you leave me alone, please? My apologies. I never meant to intrude. Oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I, uh... I was just, um... Just what? Well, it's kind of hard to explain. I, I was... I was trying to let my wife know that I'm all right. Sounds foolish, I know. No, not at all. I was able to speak through my portrait, and I believe there are other ways. I know belief is the source of all power. And I still believe that love can move mountains. So why not? Yeah, why not? Power of love. Okay, come on. Power of love. Come on! Ian! Ian, you gotta calm down. Oh. Ian! God. Doc! Oh my god! Ian! Ian, let him go. You gotta let him go. I can't. Listen, listen to me. You connected. You connected. I felt Doc. I heard him. Please let him go. I'm trapped. No, you listen, release whatever connection you have with him. Let him go. Stop I've it. Come on to you. Ian, stop! Just stop it, Ian, please! Let him go! Do you hear me, Ian? Let him go! Today we are asking ourselves a lot of You thought that by ruining a thing or a symbol it would actually mean something, but I don't I don't need names on a wall to remember Rafe. I don't actually need anything. Like I could ever forget him or like I ever would. Loving you, it's changed my life and it's, it's changed me and that's something to celebrate. It's something to rejoice in. Let's do that, let's stand before God, just you and me right here, right now. And let's, let's make a promise to each other, a vow, that even though we won't really be together, our hearts will always be joined for all eternity. Will you, will you do that with me? Will you marry me? I'm ready if you are. It looks beautiful. So do you, Angel. I've never seen anything more beautiful in my life. Alison Barrington, I, I promise that I will carry our love with me forever. 
that we will be joined together as one for now and into eternity. And I promise you, Rafe Kovic, to carry your love with me forever. And my heart and soul now belongs to you from now and through eternity. And, and now, <laughs> uh, under the eyes of God, we belong. Sorry for myself. I'm so sad about what's gone. And I just need to, to move on. But I love you, Reeve Kovic. I don't want you to ever, ever forget that, because I never will. And I will carry you in my heart forever, for as long as I live. I think you were able to forge a connection of any kind with your wife. I, I, I wish I knew. I, it seemed for a moment I felt... I don't know. I just know that if it were Lucy, she'd go to the ends of the earth and back. I believe you, Kevin. I really do. It's only... What? Only what? This place, unfortunately, exists somewhere beyond the world and its traditional ends. What just happened to you? What was that? It, it was Doc. Ian, listen to me. It happened again. He, he, he connected through you and he was talking through you. I know it was Doc. It was his words. I'm sure of it. At least somebody's sure of something. I don't remember. Can you remember anything? Did you did you see anything? What what did you feel? I remember seeing you through a fog, talking. And this piercing pain in my head looks like my whole body was coming apart at the seam. Like I was gonna pass out. I really do think you'll feel better once you've had something to eat. Do you think I'm in the mood for a picnic? Don't you understand yet what your trick with your candle has done to our lives? Of course I do. But it was your daughter, Livy, who made it into a permanent problem by slashing... What? What? Whoa, 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 wait. And it was her permanent. action that has condemned you to my world indefinitely. No! 
No, not indefinitely. That I will not accept. I've been here for over a hundred years. Don't you think if there was a way to get out, I would have found it? So just like me, you may never leave. Forgive me, Kevin. No! Here's your water. I just wish to God we could figure out why hooking up with Kevin is so hard on you. Oh, damn it, no! No, it's not true. What? What isn't true? I won't stay here. Where? Where? Where are you? It took me years to get to where I am with the woman I love. Lucy is my lifeline. Her love is what keeps me alive. The one thing that I can count on. Yes, Doc, you can count on that. You can. I will find my way back to her. I don't know how, but I will. Or die trying, because that's the world I belong in, not here. You have no idea. No, damn it! I will not stay here. Whatever it takes, I will not stay here with you, Rebecca. Re Rebecca? I won't. I won't. I won't. God. My God, Ian. Rebecca. That's it, Doc. Is with Rebecca. Ian, that makes sense. It makes complete sense. Don't you see? If we find Rebecca, then we find Doc. We can bring him back. But how? How? We, we have to have a seance. No. Rebecca's dead. Doc's not dead. There has to be some explanation. How can Doc be with her when he's not dead? It doesn't make any sense. Ian, we can figure this out, though. We can... Ian... You're with me, Rafe, and you always will be. Even if I never see you again in this lifetime. Flower, beautiful lady? I'm sorry, what? No, beautiful young lady, sad and alone on such a lovely night. Yeah. Ah. Oh. Here for you, no charge. Oh, that's really sweet of you. Actually, I couldn't. You know what, though? I'm, I might take one perfect pink rose, if I may. I mean, I'll pay you, of course. I mean, I have so many that I can... I wish I had one left to sell. Oh. Now, this afternoon, all my pink roses went home with a very romantic young guy. A real angel. An angel? Okay. I got everything. The candles, the music, the pillows. Everything's just perfect. It's just so... Right. Perfect. Wow, you are so... So... Beautiful.
tuned for scenes from the next Port Charles. Superstition. The next Port Charles. I can't treat you unless I know what's going on. What was he doing right before this all started? We were channeling Kevin. I thought you said Rafe was gone. I know, I, I thought so too, but I think he's come back to me. Did you miss any of Poor Charles this week? Be there for the SoapNet Marathon of all this week's Poor Charles episodes, Saturday at 4, followed by Soap Center. Log on to SoapNet.com for your complete SoapNet schedule. SoapNet. Soap watching made easy.